When the requested structural information is associated with one or just a few isolated multiplets in the proton spectrum, then selective 1D experiments are often the natural choice of the NMR spectroscopist. They are significantly faster to acquire and, unlike their two-dimensional equivalents, the obtainable fine structure is never compromised by limited digital resolution. The position and the optimum bandwidth of the selected pulses, however, need to be individually matched for each target signal in the proton spectrum of every sample. Therefore, these powerful experiments can only belong to the routine repertoire of an NMR lab if their setup is quick, straightforward, does not require extra calibration steps, and can be run by operators with little NMR or instrumental background. Agilent's VNMRJ3 software is fully compliant with all these criteria. For demonstration purposes, we have chosen amikacin disulfate, a natural antibiotic dissolved in deuterium oxide at a concentration level of 10 millimolar. We use a 500 MHz DD2 console and a 1 NMR probe. The structure of amikacin consists of three sugar units and an aliphatic side chain corresponding to four isolated spin systems in the molecule. Due to the very similar structure of the carbohydrate rings, the central region of the proton spectrum shows extensive signal overlap that makes full proton assignment impossible even for experienced spectroscopists. In the next few minutes, we are going to illustrate how that complex spectrum can be simplified by a series of 1D Z-Toxy experiments using the toolset of Agilent's VNMRJ3 software. A proton spectrum with solvent presaturation has been collected and serves as a starting point in our setup procedure. First, we convert the current parameter set to be ready for the selective 1D Toxy acquisition. By doing so, we import all sequence-specific parameters while keeping all the others that have been optimized on the presat spectrum, the spectral window for example, or the presaturation conditions, just to mention a few. In this particular implementation, selective excitation is achieved by a double-pulsed field gradient spin echo block incorporating two selective refocusing pulses on the target proton signal. It is followed by a DIPSY mixing sequence that transfers magnetization from the target proton to its scalar coupling partners. Mixing is flanked by two zero quantum suppression elements that filter out signals of a competitive process that frequently causes multiplet distortions. In every selective experiment, the key step is to define the site and the bandwidth of the selective RF pulse. Both can be achieved by positioning two cursors around the multiplet we intend to monitor. The frequency difference between the two cursors defines the requested selectivity. Let us start with one of the anomeric signals at 5.5 parts per million. We position the cursors and click on the Select button. In the top left corner of the graphics canvas, we can monitor what has been selected so far. We may then select the other anomeric proton, then the multiplet at 4.2 ppm, and the last quartet signal at 1.6 ppm. If we had more targets, we could continue until all requested signals are selected. Please note that not only have we defined four different positions, but each of them has a different bandwidth. This provides the user enormous flexibility when confronted with different multiplet widths or signals in crowded spectral regions. Last, we define eight scans for each FID, we want to be quick, and select either a single mixing time or a mixing time array. A 150 millisecond long mixing period may allow the magnetization to be relayed over the entire spin systems. Using the current parameters, the total experiment time is about one and a half minutes. When we click the Acquire button, all requested shapefiles are created by Pandora's box, Agilent's powerful pulse shaping engine. The relevant parameters are updated and the four data sets are arrayed before data acquisition begins. This complex procedure, which relies on perfect linearity of the RF hardware, is fully automatic and requires no operator interaction or extra calibration sets. While acquisition is running, the completed data files can be transformed at any time. We have now the sugar ring that has its anomeric proton at 5.5 ppm. The spectrum is clean, there is no crosstalk from other spin systems, the multiplets are undistorted and high resolution conditions are fully retained. Coupling constants are easy to extract and can be used to determine the relative configurations of the asymmetric carbon atoms in the sugar ring. A renewed Fourier transform makes the second sugar subspectrum accessible. In the remaining acquisition time, we can prepare for an overlaid display between the original proton spectrum and the set of 1D Toxy spectra. We select an additional viewport with the presat spectrum there. When all the data are collected, we make the final transform and overlay the spectra. We can clearly identify the four spin systems from top to bottom, the desoxy sugar, the aliphatic side chain, 
and two ordinary sugar rings. The central part of the proton spectrum that suffered from multiple overlaps has become easily assignable. During the setup procedure, we have seen that the mixing time can be arrayed. A selective 1D Z-Toxy experiment has been recorded with this option in advance, concentrating only on the low-field anomeric sugar proton at 5.5 ppm. We load this FID into the workspace and take a quick look at the results. As the mixing time increases, the magnetization relays further and further in the sugar ring. The order of signal appearance allows us to make unambiguous signal assignment within this ring. As we selectively refocused H1, the first proton to appear is H2, then H3, then H4, then H5, and finally simultaneously both methylene protons at position 6. It is really a powerful experiment and took only 3 minutes to collect. In the past few minutes you have seen part of the pulse shaping capabilities of VNMRJ3. It provides simple and user-friendly setup capabilities to run selective 1D pulse sequences and makes full use of a perfectly linear RF system to deliver reliable, structural information.